Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Com and welcome back to Project 2100. Here uh, currently filling in some space uh, because I have a, a, I have a small project uh, in this and the next episode which you probably may have guessed from the video title. It is the sort of municipal or, or political district of this city. Um, yeah, that's a, this is a, what I wanted to do today. But uh, first of all um, I I really hope you you enjoy this uh, series because I uh, as I said in the last video I'm going to uh, not not publish uh, too many videos of this series um, um, every week uh, more like zero to one videos of this series but uh, don't worry don't worry there are there are other other things planned I I just don't have to I don't I don't have so much time for for a, a project like this. For example, for uh, the raw footage for uh, this episode has taken me about uh, six hours together, and uh, I don't have six hours, just uh, free time. Uh, but so yeah, that's uh, I. That's why I am. Um, I I uh, don't really have too much time. Um, anyway, coming back to the video here. Um, as you can see, I'm uh, detailing a bit uh, some shrubberations over there and uh, yeah, some some trees um, Very normal right here uh, this uh, well, What I'm doing now in, in the first part of the video here is uh, that I'm just filling in some some gaps in the, in the city um, before we continue on uh, planning a new district planning out a new district with uh, some roads so uh, look ahead to that and uh, also um, starting the municipal district. I won't finish finish it today, that's for sure. Well, I, I can guarantee you that because I already uh, collected the footage and uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, yeah, I'm uh, filling in some space uh, because uh, it, it, is, it is necessary. It's necessary. And I also um, want to get in some more residents. Um, as you can see on the uh, on, on the bottom uh, third, there are um, currently 65,000 uh, people in this city. Uh, at the end of this uh, video, it will be more like 70,000. And I want I want to get to 100,000 with this city. I don't plan to make too many uh, too many new homes, or or I, I should rephrase that, uh, too many. Uh, dense districts um, as I do done before I want to get in some uh, into some uh, um, more a bit more spread out districts not urban sprawl like it is uh, currently in the, in the US or something but uh, just a bit more space between the buildings because um, a space between buildings is very important because of the, the greenery outside and if you if you look outside you have the greenery before uh, in your window and it looks it looks good it um, it makes the city less gray because it makes the city green yeah that's that's what I wanted to say actually and uh, yeah here a small park because I didn't really feel uh, to make um, uh, an, another uh, apartment complex or something here because um, I, I quite like the effect that it gives you when you when you uh, come in uh, with the subway or I, I shouldn't really call it subway it's the metro uh, when you come in with the metro um, over there and um, you look at your right and there's a there's just a green space and uh, it uh, it is a, a a different feeling from uh, being being in the in a city to have uh, some open spaces uh, in the city yeah anyway um that's enough of that i'm uh, now going to first of all manage the trams a bit and uh, yeah now as you can see i am doing some road layouts because we can finally move on from the district that we have created in episode 12 or the district layout that we have created in episode 12 uh, by the way, you should you should check out my episode number twelve. It is my proudest episode that I've ever done, and it's also my shortest one. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, 
I uh, wanted to get in uh, this district here um, will feature a big park and uh, I, I won't build that park today but uh, in the near future maybe uh, next next week or, or next time at least or, or uh, yeah and um, here I'm uh, creating the next subway station um, I shouldn't call it some subway station it's the metro station and uh, as you can see I've uh, tram lines all the way around the station um, I, I thought this was a, a nice idea because um, it looks it is uh, it is in interesting and it creates sort of a, a roundabout uh, around the subway around the metro station and <laughs> For, for the trams and uh, it's pretty easy to navigate this uh, station but I wouldn't I want don't want to decorate it today um, I want to decorate it uh, next time or time after that anyway as you can see here I'm uh, for once I'm for once actually putting tramways onto the road because uh, there is not really space for um, for uh, tram uh, tracks that I do normally in the city because uh, this part of the city should be uh, drivable by car uh, or, or a bit more drivable by car than uh, the last part anyway um, now uh, as you can see I've uh, used that sunken uh, train station and it is really really nice it looks very interesting the only problem uh, there is is that um, the part between the station and the tunnel that I'm uh, doing right there, there's a black box in in the middle of it. And uh, if you if you know how the uh, um, metro over overhaul mod works, um, you can actually um, with the first person camera mod, you can actually go through the tunnels of the metro and uh, experience the metro from inside. And uh, so just a black tunnel there, just before the station, is a bit a bit weird. Uh, I have to admit it, but uh, yeah, it, it it looks very nice. That's that's one thing. And now we're um, uh, we're connecting up the trams that I've laid down in the last couple of episodes in the short town that we've did uh, last and the last episode and the episode before that, and uh, also that um, that the residential district with uh, smaller houses. Anyway. Um, uh, now finally I, I can finally um, extend the extend all those um, tram tra tram uh, lines and metro lines to the new destinations and uh, we can maybe get some uh, less less uh, conjunction or, or no it's is it called called conjunction congestion uh, yeah I think it's called congestion 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 and um, yeah. Uh, the con congestion. Oh, oh my God! I can't. I can't spell. I can't uh, say this word. Congestion. Um. Uh, <laughs> onto the, the the existing um uh, existing infrastructure, because now they have two ways to go, and I will uh, obviously build up this district and uh, give the people more opportunities to go somewhere. I also plan to make a third railway railway station in this district. Or not really here because um, there is not not at this uh, metro station, but um, because the the railway station should be two stations from this one, so you can imagine there's one station between. So it is actually quite far away from uh, here. Yeah, here is the the roundabout. Um, it is not it is not around the not around the station as I just. Uh, figured out here. It is around this uh, part of uh, the avenue. It's um, a bit, a bit more interesting. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's the way. That's the way it goes. And now, finally, I'm uh, plopping down the city hall. And um, uh, I found this asset on the workshop, and I, I really, really like it because um, not just it is it one of the few uh, modern city halls there are in the workshop. Most of them are. Are, are quite old or, or old school or, or look like look old school you know you know like those um, city halls in uh, in every American uh, town <laughs> they, all, they all look a bit of a bit, bit the same but I don't want to go for this like architectural style or ar architectural style <laughs> so I'm I I'm very glad there's this uh, city hall asset exists 
and uh, I really really like it. It makes it gives the feel of um or it it uh, actually looks like um I, I don't know what I'm doing right now here. Uh, but it looks like um it ha it has a sort of a, a parliament room in it. Um, you know, like a, a half circle. Uh, it actually features two half circles. Maybe there are two parliaments. I don't know for for what, because um, I figured that this is uh, this city hall is also it's not just the parliament for the city, um, or is it? I don't think it's called parliament in the, in the U.S. for cities. It is uh, how's it called? City council. It is called. Is it called city council? I will go for city council. And uh, yeah, this big, big ass building here is. Um, this is the mayor's office. Uh, I didn't want to have the mayor's office in the same building as the city council, or I let's say just city hall, uh, because um, of because of um, how should I how should I phrase that? Because of the uh, political. Because of uh, I I don't know you know a separation of powers you know like uh, executive power and legislate le legislative power um, I, I I don't really know how to spell those words so please excuse me uh, legislative power um, by mail held by the mayor and uh, no wrong the executive power held by the mayor and legislative le legislative Legislative power held by the city council. Um, I wanted to separate that uh, those uh, physically from another, from because um, I uh, small to small story time. Uh, last week or was it last week? No, it was the week before the last week. Um, I was um, in uh, the in our capital in uh, in the Swiss capital city, and I visited the parliament there. Uh, you can you can visit it. Um, pub it is uh, semi-public. You can uh, uh, you can um, register for visiting the parliament. Anyway, and I found out that the ex executive branch of uh, the Swiss government um, is technically it is in the same building as the legislative branch, uh, um, i.e. the parliament uh, or the two chambers of the parliament. Uh, it is though both are in the same building. Um, but the, the building consists of three sub buildings, and uh, the and there is uh, an executive sub building, and uh, uh, the parliament is in another building. So technically, um, as a member of the government, if you go to parliament, you are uh, you're not uh, normally in there in those in that building. So you're sort of like a guest to the parliament uh, because. Um, in uh, in politics, uh, or at least what it should be, uh, the um, the executive is not the the highest or, or the highest force in the state. It is the parliament. The parliament uh, decides on on things, and it executive uh, the executive branch of the government has to has to obey to the parliament. And so yeah, so uh, the mayor is sort of like a guest to the city hall. Anyway, um, I know in, in the US it is a bit different because of the president and everything, but um, we're not talking about presidents, we're talking about the... Uh, we're talking about um, city politics, for municipal politics, and um, yeah. A anyway, I said <laughs> I rambled on for so long. Uh, all those buildings that I plopped around here, uh, or at least many of those buildings, are uh, like... Um, like uh, convention centers or just um, municipal or or administration buildings like this complex here right now that I that I've built here it's sort of like uh, yeah a as I said it is um, an administration uh, building and also the the big uh, tower right at the city hall is also an administrative building but I also have uh, plopped down um, the uh, hotel. It is actually the the, the asset is is uh, called a hotel, but um, I plan to redesign it. I won't do uh, the redesigning uh, today, but uh, in the next episode because this is a two part project here. And um, yeah, I figured out. Yeah, it's the the building on the on the right here. Y you can see it a, a bit 
or, or just just a bit here at, at the right of the screen. Um, I thought this could be like a, like sort of a, a World Trade Center, not the World Trade Center in uh, New York. I mean, um, uh, I I didn't know that at first, but there are many. There there is not just one World Trade Center. There are many many different World Trade Centers, and basically what a World Trade Center is normally is just a, a place for um, for meetings and uh, and other things and yeah about finance and um, and the market and whatever so I th I figured why not have a world like world trade center in this city I mean I mean there's a world trade center in Salt Lake City and uh, if Salt Lake City has something uh, this city could have too maybe uh, not not a Mormon Cathedral but um that's uh, that's a uh, way out of the point uh, I plan to, to talk about religion in this city in the future, not in this episode. Um, I'm uh, doing here, what I'm doing here is I'm uh, using the ploppable asphalt uh, to create a parking lot and uh, I, I, uh, I'm uh, sort of addicted to uh, parking lots created by, created with ploppable asphalt because it just looks so good. And uh, I don't use the, the dark road textures for this project, I use it for for some other private projects or, or private um, safe games or cities and uh, some other things. Spoilers ahead. Um, for my next project, I will use the um, the, the painted roads or, or the black roads. But uh, for this one, I figured um, these roads here they look kind of blue. Um, actually, I just um, yeah, they look pre a bit blue. Uh, not not so gray, more like blue, and I didn't want to have um, the, the, the roads featured so prominently with the black asphalt, asphalt textures, because the road should not be the primary um, means of transportation, not the means of production, uh, <laughs> the means of transportation. Anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to, I didn't want to have the roads st uh, uh, stick out in, in that sense, if you know what I mean. Um, so I didn't went for for uh, the black asphalt textures, so, but for the the grey one or or the bluish grey one. Anyway, um, this um, ground parking I'm uh, I've said multiple times in the in the past that I'm uh, not a fan of of uh, ground parking in this city at least. Um, it looks interesting uh, certainly if you do it right, but uh, it. Uh, it should be. It should not be in this city because it's just basically just a waste of space. But uh, the thing here with this is that um, those those administrative buildings, those are uh, also offices, and um, be many people have to go there for whatever reason. You know, like um, I, I don't know. I don't know what uh, what offices there are in the U.S. Um, but. Um, you may have to go there and uh, do something and uh, so you have to have a, a place where you could park your car because um, not everyone dry will dr in this city in the future will drive um, a public car because um, uh, this is also have I already said that yeah I've said it uh, this is also the the that uh, the capital of the county so people come from all over the county from outside the city and obviously they can't use the can't use the, the public car service uh, because this is just in the city but uh, what I'm doing right now here is I you have seen me putting down this uh, drop statue and um, I had a very nice idea I could use the shadow of this um, drop thing here to make um, make a sun clock, uh, I I've never seen someone someone do that because um, I don't know. Uh, but um, I figured that uh, this would be a very nice um, very nice use of this um, statue that I've uh, plopped down here. And it is like um, a piece of art, but actually a piece of art that is usable to some extent because this uh, clock here uh, goes from. Um, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. So it's not really uh, too too uh, a big of a clock here, uh, but uh, it is. It certainly looks interesting, and it is a nice application of uh, just uh, an otherwise pretty weird no monument that I've uh, plopped down here. Yeah, and um, it looks really really nice. 
um, I it looks actually quite quite good. I'm uh, also putting down uh, uh, all the, the half half hours so that you somewhat know how late it is uh, if it is not exactly uh, 2 p.m. or something. Yeah. And um, something else that I did there was, um, yeah, as you can see, I'm putting down some lines here. And um, the idea for those lines should be, or should be in, uh, yeah, they, those, the idea should be that um, this, uh, this is the, the, the hours where the, the city council um, is meeting, you know, like from 8 a.m. to 12. Uh, then uh, lunch break and then from 1 to 3 p.m. Um, that's uh, that was the at, at least the idea obviously the city council would meet um, if it if it meets it doesn't always meet but uh, when it meets it would meet like for a whole day not just uh, until 3 p.m. or at least that's what I uh, f that f that's what I think it would do I've actually I've actually never been to a, to any city council not even to the city council of my own city, which uh, holds public meetings every uh, once a month. Um, yeah, that's that's also something. Uh, I, I said earlier that the building, uh, the city hall building, could um, could feature two uh, two uh, parliament uh, parliaments. You know, like those uh, parliament uh, rooms. And yeah, that's actually a nice idea that I just came up with. One parliament is or one. Uh, room is just uh, the normal normal uh, city council meeting um, room and the other one is for for the general public uh, for you know like uh, one meeting uh, once a month is held publicly or something and um, or I mean every pretty much every meeting is, is held publicly in some way because media is always there. But, um, you know, for the people to, to ask the city council and interact with the government, because that's, um, that's very important to um, uh, engage in politics uh, or in uh, local politics, which will uh, arguably influence you the most. Local and uh, state politics will influence the, you the most, uh, if you, uh, at least if you live in, in the US. If you live, live uh, not in the US like me, it probably won't influence you, but uh, that's something yeah, that's pretty uh, obvious. Um, yeah, uh, I'm putting down here this um, massive um, pedestrian crossing here, because the, the, the whole area here should, um, uh, before the mayor's office, should also be reserved for, you know, like, um, or should at least be a... a possible to have uh, you know like demonstrations and uh, fundraisers and and uh, something and whatever um, yeah but uh, now I'm a uh, actually this one uh, this small road here is actually a taxi stand but I didn't have the, the decals for that so that's why that's also one reason why we have a two-part series but now I'm already at the end of the video or already the video is like 24 minutes long or, or whatever and uh, there's no cinematics at the end of this video, but at the end of the next one, because I'm, I will finish uh, the city uh, or the the project there. So I hope I can see you in the uh, in the comment section of this episode or next episode. I hope you've liked it. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.